Witam Was bardzo serdecznie, ja jestem Profi, a to jest kolejny, kolejny odcinek z gry The Walking Dead. Nie masz przystranek gościu u mnie już. Jest raj, to my idziemy. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Nic. Tylko mamy kolesia postrzelonego, tak przez przypadek. What happened? What the hell? What's going on? Time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee, I don't know. Lee, what the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking minute? Hey, no, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We're the ones that shot him. Then you should have done the right thing and finished them off. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. Let's <laughs> fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. Yeah, yes. I don't see any of you oh, up she... to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with Właśnie, the wypierdalaj do roboty. No, cześć, wiadu. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. No, spoko. To ty też idź do płotu. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Dobra, jedno wiem, jej ojciec nie dostanie. Niech żyje gruzcy wiem. Cztery porcje... Na dziewięcioro. Żeby nie było. Dobra, ja nie muszę jeść. To już jest 8. 
Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? No, spoko. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. What were you thinking bringing him here? Even if he lives, we aren't going to be able to take care of him. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Mm, Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Mm. Dobra, pójdźmy do dzieciaku. Mm. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oczywiście. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. Kilka dni temu to było przerwa pomiędzy epizodami. Dzięki za info. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Dobra. Damy ci jeść. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I'll be back in a bit. Ah, cool, then. Sorry, I'll let you down. Moment. Perka. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mas. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Well, it's nice that the kids are getting some stuff. Hey, Doc. I'm out of little food. That's it. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Talas, what did you get? Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. Uh -huh. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe we just... Left Mr. Parker there. Yes, sir. I tried. I really did. I just ran out of time. There was nothing else we could do. So who are you people? Oops, <coughs> guys, I know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The guy in the truck is Travis. He played in the school band with me. Mr. Parker was the band director, but God, I can't believe we left him. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know. She's not duping her, Raji. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Tam jest ta laska jeszcze. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. So, tak, mamy jeszcze dwa żarcia i mamy raz, dwa, trzy, cztery osoby. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. 
What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. No, pójdziemy tu do Fryer. Na siedzonko. Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? That's yeah, cool. give us that thing for a bit. Uh, here, Mark, this should help. No, bro. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, dziwiście. Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cry. That's very gross. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Teraz pytanie, czy dać jej, czy kenem? It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Hmm. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carmen. Come to the lunch, Eden. Love you, Gadas. Ah, you might get shot. Then, yeah, you start me. We'll get there, Mister. I'll catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Bye. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? Never <laughs> said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Hey, 
Ben, Lee, come here, please. Dobra. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. Kurwa. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh fuck! So go straight, my boy. Ah, dobra, dobra. Jaka pała nie trafi. No lol, przecież kryptołem. Ja jest wybra się zjebał. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place? You're gonna get us all killed! You said he wasn't bitten! What? We asked you point blank was he bitten and you said no! He wasn't! Well your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Hello? Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? <coughs> You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. 
Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? The motor Inn's my home now, I guess. Hmm. Well, that place seen better days, huh? You can say that again. Y'all <laughs> seem pretty settled in at that motor Inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shit. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh no, there's yeah, a you know lot what? more We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! We hope you're done. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Asshole! Uh. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Przecież moglibyśmy jego gnata wziąć. Wiesz, z tam kuszę chyba miał. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Zajebiste miejsce. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's been living down at the old motel, round the way. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? What's in this we all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What we she... have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? 
Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. No, okay. Dobra, czyli mam podlimać po okolicy. Ale to już zobaczycie w następnym odcinku. Na razie.